Hey everybody, it's Sam. Uh, I am right now sitting in a Mustang Mach-E GT uh, from Ford that they loaned me for a couple of days uh, because they just uh, uh, recently, about a week ago, uh, started to release the uh, J3400 slash NAX adapters that will allow uh, Ford EVs with a CCS charging connector to charge from a Tesla supercharger. And so they've loaned me this uh, and they've also loaned me this box here, which has the uh, connector in it, the adapter in it. So let's take a look. All right, so as you've probably seen elsewhere on the net, uh, this is the box that contains the uh, J3400 NAX to CCS adapter. Um, this is what um, Ford owners that order one of these between now and the end of June will get. Uh, they'll get one of these uh, complimentary from Ford. After that time, after the end of June, they'll have to pay $230 for this. And if you want, you can get one of these for each Ford EV that you own. So one per VIN number. Um, after that, you will have to pay, um, or if you want extras or after June 30th, you'll have to pay the 230 bucks. So let's open this up and this is the way it'll be shipped to customers. And so here's what we have. This is the adapter. Um, and so this will allow you to charge to DC fast charge from a Tesla supercharger uh, with one of these vehicles. And this car, this uh, Mach-E that I'm driving right now, should have the software update that enables this to work. Uh, we'll see when we get to the supercharger. Um, so on this side, you see the J3400 connector. And on this side is the CCS. And you'll notice that it doesn't have all the pins in here. This, char this adapter is only designed to be used with DC charging, so DC superchargers. So it won't work if you go to an AC uh, Tesla destination charger uh, because it's missing the, the other two pins here for AC charging. You get the two pins for DC charging and then the communication pins, uh, but no AC pins. So you'll only be able to use this, as I said, with, uh, with the DC superchargers. So uh, I've been driving around for the last hour or so, running down the battery uh, in this uh, Mach-E. Got it down to about 52%. By the time I get to supercharger, it should be somewhere probably in the mid 40s, uh, which would be good enough to, to test with. And so one of the things that Ford has said um, with the uh, with the super with this software update that they have pushed out, which I think this car has. I hope it has it because Ford specifically loaned me this for this testing. So hopefully it's got everything. But one thing I noticed uh, when I uh, tried searching here. So this is in the built-in navigation system. Um, if you go to chargers, uh, it does not yet list superchargers in here in the Blue Oval Charge Network. Uh, it only lists all the others, EV Connect, uh, Electrify America, etc. Um, but no superchargers are listed in here yet. Uh, that should be coming at some point soon. Um, and so hopefully this will still work anyway, even though they're not listed in the, uh, in the nav yet. Um, and the superchargers have been updated with, uh, plug and charge capability. So let's, uh, let's head on, uh, over to where our supercharger is. Uh, before I do that though, let me go. All right. I have arrived at a magic dot or at a Tesla supercharger station. And this one does not have the magic dock on it. Uh, but uh, we're going to try it out with the new Ford supplied adapter and pull this out, plug it in like that into the adapter. And then this plugs into the car and it should just hopefully just start charging. And let's see what happens. Let's get inside here. Nothing's happening. Oh. Start press break. Okay, so something went wrong. To charge here, please plug in and use the Ford Pass app. Okay. 
All right, I have arrived at a Tesla supercharger station here. The initial one I tried to go to uh, in Ann Arbor did not work uh, when I plugged it in, but I'm now at a second one uh, in Ypsilanti, Michigan. This one does have a magic dock. Uh, we're gonna try this out both ways. So I've got the adapter right here that Ford sent me, um, and we're gonna try it out first with the Ford adapter, and then we'll try it out with the magic dock. So let's put this down here since I only have one hand. So to use this, just pull the cable out here. You have to insert it into the adapter first. So you get this here, and then you plug it into the CCS port. And it should, hopefully if all goes right, just magically start charging. And see what happens. showing just blue there. I don't think it has actually started charging yet. Oh. Okay. But they decided they had to go through with this after all. All right. So it actually has started. The uh, I can hear the coop, the fan running in the charging dispenser there, and it shows it fast charging. Um, not sure exactly what speed here. Let's see if we can find that information here. Uh, oh, actually close this. Let's try this here. See if this shows us our charging speed. Uh, No. So I'm not sure exactly what rate it's charging at, but it is charging, or it appears to be anyway. Yeah, because we picked up, we've gone from about 38% to 41% in just a couple of minutes. So the uh, charging adapter did work at this particular station. So evidently not all of the supercharger stations are yet compatible. So this particular charger did, this particular supercharger station does work. And uh, as we've known, as Ford has told us before, not all superchargers are going to work with Ford EVs. Uh, first of all, they have to be at least version three superchargers. Um, version one and version two superchargers, of which there are still some, will not work. And some older version three superchargers, which I think is what was at the other station I went to, uh, also will not work. Uh, but uh, this particular station does work. Uh, so depends on the level of hardware uh, software that is in a particular supercharger. So right now there's about, uh, there's a little over 20,000 superchargers across North America. Um, and about 15,000 of those will be compatible with uh, charging Ford EVs uh, out of the box with the, um, with the, uh, with the adapter. Uh, so I'm going to stop this charging session right now and we'll try this out with the magic dock as well. Just make sure that works. And the nice thing about this is that I didn't have to activate anything through an app. It just simply worked uh, when I plugged it in. Plug and charge worked. So to stop the session, you press that button there and then you press this button here to release it from the CCS port. And then there is another tab down here, which you have to press in order to remove the CCS connector from the adapter. And so yeah, this will be slightly more hassle when you are uh, using the adapter up until the point where uh, we actually get Ford vehicles, hopefully next year, with the built-in NAX connector. All right, so now we are going to try this out with uh, using the magic dock. So if you don't have your adapter with you or um, you, uh, you have some other vehicle, uh, you can use this as well. So this one has the magic dock so that what happens is in here, there's an adapter built in here. So to use the magic dock, you press the button here for about two seconds. 
You hear that click, and you push up, and it comes out with what looks to be almost exactly the same adapter, except it doesn't have the tab on the bottom for releasing the NAS connector. So the intent here is that this is only meant to be used with the supercharger, uh, not so people don't take it with them. There's no way to release it. And plug it in, and it clicked, locked in place, and blue lights are on, which means that it should be charging. Uh, let's double check here. And shows we're at 44%. Fast charging, 80% at 12, 16 p.m. Saturday. So this did start charging. Plug and charge is working at this location, this Tesla location. So as I said, uh, you with the with with the um, adoption with the uh, rollout of compatibility with superchargers, it will work on about three quarters of all the superchargers that are out there. Um, and there will be some that won't work, and what we found was when we looked in uh, in the Android Auto in Google Maps and Android Auto. Uh, earlier, it did show us that uh, the other charger that we went to was not compatible. And it wasn't just because it didn't have a magic dot, but it actually was not at all compatible. Um, so hopefully that, that's an indication of that'll help you, you know, whether you're using the built-in navigation in a Ford EV or using Android Auto with Google Maps um, and potentially also eventually with Apple Maps uh, in CarPlay. Um, that will help guide you to chargers, to superchargers that will actually work with your Ford vehicle. And with that, um, I'm gonna finish up this session and uh, we'll talk to you next time, bye.